He encourages them to have faith and take heart, for he has overcome the world and offers them comfort and strength. My dear friend, this is Monday of the seventh week of Easter and we have the Gospel of John chapter 16 verses 29 to 33 for our reflection today. During a particularly difficult period in her life, St. Gabriela Barsis experienced a profound crisis of faith. Struggling with doubts and uncertainties, she felt overwhelmed by fear and anxiety. In the midst of her turmoil, she turned to prayer, seeking guidance and solace from God. One day, as she was, she poured out her heart to in prayer. Saint Gabriel experienced a profound encounter with Jesus. In a moment of deep intimacy, she felt His presence surrounding her, enveloping her in a sense of peace and love that surpassed all understanding. In that moment. Her doubts and fears melted away, replaced by a profound sense of trust and assurance in God's providence. This encounter became a turning point in St. Gabriel's life. From that moment on, she embraced a deeper relationship with Jesus, finding strength and courage to face life's challenges with faith and resilience. Her experience of encountering Jesus in prayer became a source of inspiration and encouragement for others, reminding them of the peace that comes from placing their trust in Jesus. In today's Gospel, Jesus reassures his disciples that they will find peace in him, even though they may face troubles in the world. He encourages them to have faith and take heart for he has overcome the world and offers them comfort and strength. Sometimes, like the disciples in the Gospel of John chapter 16, verse 29 to 33, we may struggle to understand and accept Jesus' mission. It is natural to have doubts or uncertainties, but Jesus encourages us to be patient. He understands our struggles and invites us to Take the time to understand his teachings through prayer, reading scripture, and seeking guidance from our faith community. We can deepen our understanding of Jesus' mission and align our lives with his teachings. As we heard in our first reading, the Holy Spirit empowers us, guides us in making wise choices, and helps us grow in our faith. We can seek the Holy Spirit's presence and embrace the power that comes with His guidance in all situations of life. Reflect today, how can I deepen my trust in Jesus during difficult times and experience His peace amidst the life's challenges? May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.